Okay, problem seven. I've written out A and B here just to get us started. Um, a asks us to basically use our sort of like box and pointer type representation of lists and, and memory and racket to represent X in this defined statement. So if we have X defined as this, I mean, I think you all should know that the list will end up looking like, like this. But what this means in memory is that we have a car, 13, and then a cutter, which is a pointer to this with the 17 as the car, and then a pointer to... So uh, lists are made up of pairs of cars and cutters, where the cutter is a pointer to another pair, um, or an empty list. So here this will be a pointer to, and we have our first pair with 13, and then another pointer to a pair with 17, and another pointer to a pair with 14, and an empty list. Um, then it asks us, what if we define y as cons 99 of x? Well, x will be the exact same as above. y will now be a pair, pointer to a pair, uh, with 99, and then this pointer will point to first part of x. This is the equivalent of x. This pointer here is what x is. It is this pointer or this pointer which point to the same thing, functionally the same pointer. Okay, let's move on to 7c. Uh, asks us to Explain why we can consider the racket procedures cutter and cons to be constant time. So we can probably think of it in terms of these representations. These are not unrelated questions. So if we have something like, say we're taking y here, and we want a cutter y. Remember, it's looking for, to say o of 1, theta of 1, o of 1. O of 1 means that it runs in constant time, so it doesn't ma matter how many elements you have as in your list. Um, if I wanted to, could or why? All I would have to do here is say, make this pointer, right, set, this is, I'll pseudocode it, so I know kind of it'll be like, um, I'll call this 1 and call this 2. Pointer 1 equals pointer 1 pointer. So like the pointer at the place that pointer 1 is pointing to, which is pointer 2, if that makes some sense. I would set wherever this is stored in data, right? Somewhere in data I would have the variable y. I would have information for the variable y. It would start out as pointer 1, and then I would say, we'll just change this to the pointer at whatever pointer 1 is pointing to. So it would go here, it would access this, that takes a constant number of operations. It doesn't matter how long this list is, it could be way longer, and it wouldn't matter. All I have to do is deal with these guys here, so it's constant. Um, and then it asks us cons. So if I wanna con something onto y, what do I have to do? Well, I have to take, I mean, let's say we're conning onto x like we just did, right? If I want to, or actually we didn't, quite cons onto, we did cons onto x, but we said it was another variable. Um, let's say that we're just doing cons 5x, and we're going to get rid of y here. All we have to do for that is make a place with a 5, change this pointer, well first we would make the pointer of this point there, and make this pointer point down here. This would be, you know, define x as cons 5x. Um, so all that required us to do was make one of these, switch two pointers, that's a constant number of operations, that doesn't matter, and that doesn't take into account how long this list is, because we're just adding to the beginning. If we had to do something like add to the end of the list, well that would take a lot of time, because that would probably be something like O of n, because we would have to go through every single element of the list, but here we don't, we just add on to the beginning, so it's O of 1. Okay, let's look at the next part of 7.
7D says, con uh, consider the following racket procedure. I'll write it out really quick. You can skip to 30 seconds later in the video if you really want. Written it out. Now it asks us to draw the tree of recursive calls for the procedure rev a b c mb list. Okay, so this is the version of recursion, remember, I think tail recursion, where uh, at the very end, when we like reach our base case, we're already done. Right? So we're going to be reversing stuff. This is going to get reversed into here. And then we just return this R list. It's not like cons one onto cons two onto cons three. It doesn't build up this long chain of calls. Instead, when we reach the end, we're just done. Everything's stored in here. So it'll look like our first call is rev a, b, c, r, l, s, t. This will call what? So LST is not nil yet, so we'll call rev on the rest of the list and cons the first of the list to our list. Oh, I should, this is wrong. That's empty. So this will call rev, rest of list is BC, and then this will have our A in it. Okay, this will do the same thing again. I'm just following the procedure that they, they wrote for me here. And then once list LST is empty, we return our list. So let's just return CBA. There's no further recursive call. 7E asks us, okay, why is this procedure big theta of n? Okay. I give a big theta bound. In, oh, sorry. It says give a big theta bound in terms of n for the running time of this procedure and explain why it's correct. So, uh, right, so um, let's remember that big theta means an upper and a lower bound, right? Omega is lower, O is upper. So theta combines these two. It says it's in theta of n and in O of n, essentially. When you take, I think, 202, you will further kind of specify this definition for theta. Um, but we can think about it. Uh, we know that regardless of, you know, whatever is in the list, this does the same thing based on the length of the list, right? I didn't care what these elements were uh, when I was reversing the list. So it makes sense that this will be in theta of, right, that, that the, um, this will be upper and lower bounded by the same sort of uh, represent, same factor of n or same, uh, same in terms of n expression. Um, here we have, you know, basically each element has to be moved over uh, and that takes a constant number of expressions. So it's n elements times constant constant number of operations per element, right? It's just rest list is an O of one procedure or a theta of one procedure. Cons, we just said, is a theta of one procedure, uh, right? So two constant operations. So one. So that's n times one equals n. This is in theta of n. Uh, we can explain it by saying, you know, each, each of the n elements has uh, a constant number of operations run on it to take the rest of the initial four, or I guess not, uh, that's a bad way of saying it. Maybe I'll say for each element in this list, each of the n elements 
we need to run a constant number of constant time operations, uh, rest and cons, before we return the final result. I think that would probably be an explanation that gets you full points for why this is theta of n. Okay. I mean, if one of these was like an O of n procedure or a theta of n procedure, say here for some reason I wanted to take like the length of the list, which is an, uh, a theta of n procedure, I think, um, then this would take theta of n squared, because it would have to run a theta of n procedure theta, or, you know, n times, and n times n is n squared, but we don't, instead we have theta of n. Are there any other parts of 7? Nice, okay, we're done with 7. Uh, I hope my explanation ended up making some sense, even if it didn't start out very clear. Uh, thanks for watching this, I'll, I'll see you in problem eight.